In September, Georgia's unemployment rate reversed its downward trend and inched upwards by two-tenths of a point to 5.1 percent. Which normally that would be bad news, but that's not quite the case this month. As State Labor Commissioner Mark Butler explains, the rate increased because of an influx of people into the labor force looking for work, which often causes a rate increase because while they're searching, they're counted as unemployed. And uh, this last month, we actually had, uh, we almost broke a 25-year record for individuals returning to the workforce as we saw over 25,000 people join the workforce in just this last month. And the news gets even better because nearly three-quarters of those people actually landed a job right away, in part because Georgia businesses created more than 18,000 jobs in September. And while the month-to-month -month growth was strong, well, we continue to show really strong over-the-year job growth, a little over 118,000 uh, more jobs today than we had at the same time last year, which is a 2.8 percent job growth, which, by the way, is over a point stronger than what uh, the national average is for job growth. Construction was the fastest growing sector, as it's often been this year, and it was followed by leisure and hospitality and business services. Many of the new jobs are filled as job seekers and employers turn to EmployGeorgia.com. Yeah, EmployGeorgia.com is our uh, web-based job uh, service that we also use to track job growth in Georgia just for our own records. Uh, and we saw some very strong numbers last month. Uh, we saw a 30 percent uh, increase in job postings from month to month. And more than 60 percent of those new jobs require a minimum of a two-year degree, which normally translates into good salaries. As the number of jobs and working Georgians increased in September, the number of new layoffs decreased both over the month and over the year. For the Georgia Department of Labor, I'm Sam Hall.